Okay, you guys, so it is, we're at the end of April, it's actually April 23rd, and girl, we're still having issues with this dang on ransomware with my company, and so, um, this is concerning that we were compromised, uh, a company this size was compromised. You have to be a low down, dirty, you know what to do this for an organization. It's an organization that did it to do this when we're under um, the coronavirus and all this. Arizona has not been hit that hard, but still it's out there. And I think now that it's getting better weather, people have, again, have this false sense of, yay, okay, um, let's go out and have fun. Mm -mm. I cancel my lab appointment coming up. I cancel my doctor appointment and it's with a new doctor too. I'm canceling everything because nothing is urgent right now. It's not extension that I go to see a new doctor right now to develop a you know develop a new patient doctor relationship. I, I'll catch you later on. I'm good. So I'm canceling. I've been trying to call them. They're not doing tele. What do you call it? Tele appointments, meaning virtual appointments. It's only for their for their existing patients a lot of the time. Um, I took date JB in on Monday, no Tuesday, and I told y'all in my chit chat because he was complaining he had a, y'all he was coughing, he had a sore throat and a fever. When I tell you, I broke down crying because I was scared. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because my baby hasn't gone anywhere. So I was upset. My husband got up. He's like, just take him to the doctor. So we took him to the doctor, and it was strep. It was strep. Um, thank God it wasn't, you know, what I thought it was, but that, that rattled me a little bit. And then I was confused. How did you get it? So my husband says that he's not washing his hands properly. You know, he's going to the bathroom and he's not washing. And, um, like literally when you're done, when he's done with the bathroom, he's not washing properly. So I have mixed antiseptic, a little bit of it with our hand soap because that adds like an extra layer or barrier for your for against germs and stuff it's, it's the same bottle i had when i had my surgery it's the same stuff that surgeons use when they go into operating not only that but i ordered another bottle through amazon recently so um yeah i'm getting a lot of emails from now his school when i tell you we, we've gone from doing 70 percent of the school to 60 percent. it's about to be 50 percent Cause school is done in about four, no, three more weeks, y'all, and I'm done. Especially with stuff at work, I don't have the mental capacity to. I'd be so glad when I start on the homeschooling stuff. I don't have the mental capacity to do everyday stuff, and they want them to do electives. Like, they want them. They have assigned them electives like Spanish, art, music, PE. Girl, please, PE. I'm chasing them around the house with a flip flop. That's our PE. He got a lot. <laughs> So, um, it is what it is, but we are turning stuff in with that being said. I keep telling myself it's only four more weeks. Oh, y'all pray for me. I'll pray for y'all. I am praying like multiple times a day. Um, you know, this is something that my spirit is telling me. This is something that we have to go through it. Y'all heard me mention this before. There is no going around this. Everyone's, and, and, and this is this is the beauty, almost the beauty of it. This is not just my struggle. It's your struggle. It's my neighbor's struggle. It's my husband's struggle. It's my child's struggle. So I can't sit up here and say, oh girl, you won't believe it. I went through the coronavirus last year. No, we all went through it. The entire world went through it. And so I really do think that a lot of us will be victorious at the end. We just have to go through it. Um, I've been, I've been um, meditating on the word. I've been reading. And I've been self-reflecting on almost what does, what do you need from me, God? What do you need from me to do? Um, you know, I've gone away from, not necessarily gone away from, but I'm trying to focus on others instead of myself. Because um, I think at the end of the day, with me focusing on other people and how I can help others, that will help me also. And, and we will be blessed. You know, you, the Bible tells us you'll always be blessed. And as as far as servitude goes, y'all, excuse me, talking too fast. As far as servitude goes, you will always be blessed. Um, so, yeah, you guys, that's how I'm looking at it. Because for a while there, especially earlier this week with JB being sick and work, I was getting really depressed. I really was. I was having a moment, a couple of moments, okay? Um, but 
I did a detox, a watermelon detox. Ooh, child. When I tell you, I lost three pounds. Oh yes, I'm down to 172.6. I started at 175.4 or six or something like that. So I lost three pounds doing that watermelon detox. I'll include the recipe below what I use. And she told me, look, she told me, first of all, I, eat, I sent a message to my girlfriend. I said, girl, what the hell? I did this detox that you shared on Instagram. I, I, I keep going to the bathroom. Is this normal? She's like, yeah, it's normal. She started laughing. She said, yeah, that's normal. Make sure you do a salt water flush in the morning. I said, I don't have any more for salt. No, we're not doing that. I'm going to drink a bunch of water. I'm not having any meat. I think I did have a little bit of turkey yesterday, though. But I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing a damn salt water flush after I had bubble guts, bubble guts for 24 hours. Are you serious? No, we ain't. Here she doing. go, y'all. These are the masks. Isn't this cute? I got this one that says, this too shall pass. And then she has these for the kids. And I got this one for JB. Um, this one with a little thing there. And God we trust. These are cute. And so her name is up here. Um, can y'all see that? Hold on. Yashora Designs. And they are on sale for $8. Look, if someone is selling these masks, I'm really upset that people are inflating prices. This is cloth. This stuff doesn't cost hardly anything to cost hardly anything to make, excuse me. So these masks should not be costing $25. I've seen people selling them $25, $30, $15 or less is how much these things should be costing. But they're cute. Really, really cute. I think I got the, what does this say? If you can read this, you are too close. <laughs> this is cute, but I don't want that. I think I got this too shall pass, yeah. It makes it very difficult. It's a pants. Look at this, oh God, we ain't gonna talk about that girl. All right, so how would you make this? Oh, JB, come on. I'm working. Yeah, you're working. How would you make this one two halves then? Two equal shares. How else could you draw the line? Where else, where else could you draw it? I know of one easily, but you show me. You already just, oh, yeah, good, good, good. How else could you do two halves? Can I show you one <laughs> for this one? Good job, JB. All right, like some, some asteroids hit but, the earth. But Jupiter and Saturn have been getting beat up mm -hmm. because they were taking it off. Because oh. Jupiter and Saturn and Jupiter and Saturn are in front of Earth. Right, okay. They're protecting Earth. Okay. So they're, they're protecting they're orbiting people. around the sun and really just get just like at all times when, 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 like when everything is orbiting around the sun mm -hmm. and they try their best to keep in front of her. Oh, so they keep those asteroids from hitting us? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's crazy. So you did. If, 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 if Jupiter, if Ju like no matter what, if like Jupiter or like, or like Saturn was gone, then oh. Earth would have been. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's kind of scary. So you do know that our uh, astronauts are busy trying to find other planets that I we could know. possibly live on. So there are, you, you asked me about that yesterday and actually there are planets that are very similar to our atmosphere. I know, like there's one planet, there's one big planet that's 10 times bigger than Earth really? that's filled with water. So darling, I'm gonna read this. So look it up. Please you want me to look it up right now? Yeah. Okay. Does it have land um, or any water? We've only been able to do some testing of the atmosphere to see what um, what type of properties are there. Your daddy can go in that a little bit more because I felt organic chem chemistry. Okay. <laughs> okay, so planets that are, it is about 4.2 light years away. Kepler 442b. And there's Kepler 452. See, this looks very similar to Earth, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks very similar. But I believe, I don't know which one of these, I believe one of these, the days are extremely long. I'm really trying not to eat. But I ain't got the pineapples. I 
ate all the pineapples. Then I got some cheesecake, and I was like, hmm. It was two o'clock. I watched Power. Got kind of sad. <laughs> what did you do better? Cheesecake. Where did you, where did you so, get cheesecake from? Walmart. When they said we were going to be quarantined, I figured, heck, who's we're gonna be inside, so I did a Janet Jackson. You know, she's a chunk. I want to. Yeah, shut up, sucker. Shut up, sucker. Come on, let's go. Show them. Okay, I'm gonna show. Come what is that? I ain't got pinches for this. Rev, y'all making. Rev, hey, Rev, y'all making a new YouTube video? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually filming you now. Oh, today? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm filming you right now, baby. Say hi. Say hi to the YouTubers. They making a YouTube video right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> say hi, bunny. Another margarita. How's your chips, baby? That's all you eat, JB. You need to eat some fruit or veggies or something. You want some green juice? Girl, yo, we gotta stop doing this. Not, not you and me, but my husband and I. Oh, it was another crazy party last night. <laughs> Child, those margaritas, we go to our, we've been getting these margaritas to go every, nearly every week. Um, And when I wake up in the morning, it looks like a sorority party has been, has popped off in here. Like there's a cooler in the middle of the kitchen. There's margarita glasses. There's cake cut crumbs everywhere. And it's just me, Alex, and JB. So I'm like, what the hell be going on? Now, I'm a type of drinker. Unfortunately, I lose, lose, I lose train of thought of what happened the previous night. Apparently, we, we ordered margarita glasses through Amazon. And my husband's like, I showed you what they look like. I said, no, you didn't. He's like, we were on the couch, me, you, and Boo Boo. And I said, these are the wine glasses. And you said, okay. I said, I don't, I don't remember that. So you need to show me what those damn glasses are. So let me back up, because I think I'm going to cut some part of the video out, because I was looking crazier. It is Saturday, and our systems and everything was up Thursday morning. When I tell you, we were so excited, you guys. Hey, you guys, I'm back in my room, child. This this is a disaster. We're going to have to get it together. So, y'all, one of the ways that I like to decorate is by using um, pictures or decorations that are on sale seasonal so right now since it is springtime you will find seasonal springtime decorations all over my local fries is almost like one of those marketplace fries so they do sell home stuff and so i got these cute little paintings for you see that 59 cents i got this little sign that says blessed for 83 cents. So yes, I'm going to put these in the bathroom and I'm going to put this somewhere in the kitchen. Use hints, get it up, get it up. <laughs> Just run in the bathroom. You let it go. Inside the chapel door, you were standing up. <laughs> This is so sweet. I just received this box of face products and it's a gift. I'm not going to read the note. It's a gift from T. Thank you so much, girl. Look at all of these face products. Y'all have to put them over here with all my other stuff. That's, yeah, those two baskets and all of this. I mean, there's serums in here. It's actually everything that I needed. JB's little hand. Boo boo. What is he? He's so sweet. What is that? Caffeine energizing 
Hydro Gel Eye Patches. We have something for our hair. I've heard of this brand before. Um, Good Molecules. Look at that brightening toner. Move it out the way, sweetheart. Can you pick that bag up? Can you pick that little bag up for mama? Thank you. Discoloration Correcting Serum. Yes, a lot of different serums in here. We have uh, niacin Niacinamide Serum. Yes, baby, pick that up. I think that's a bar. Yeah, that's a that's a bar, a cleansing bar. I think there's two cleansing bars, perhaps. They're, um, they're, um... Exfoliating powder. I'm so excited. Oh, this is so beautiful. It was really they're beautifully packaged, too. One bar, okay. <laughs> What's over here? Super peptide serum. Oh, is this a bar? Uh, I think that's vitamin C powder booster. I wonder how to use that. I would definitely, definitely, definitely... Um, look up videos cream. on this. Um, my skin has been coming along. I have to be a little bit more more uh, consistent with, you can see over here, I have tons of stuff over there, but this is going to take it to a whole nother level. So thank you, girl. Thank you so much. This is very sweet. Hey, 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 you guys. Um, ooh, ciao. Yeah, what is up with this camera? Why does the camera look like this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Girl, quit complaining. Y'all, I'm tired. I don't know what is up with JB's sleeping pattern, but JB is tired and he's fighting sleep, so he's not going to bed till after 10 o'clock. Uh, that can't work. So then that forces me to go to bed between 10:30 and 11. Um, and I don't play around. As soon as my child goes to bed, I go to bed because I wake up between 4 and 5 o'clock. So this past week, it's been a struggle. I've been getting barely 5 hours of sleep and I'm tired. I'm extremely tired today. Um, oh, that coffee is hot. I'm extremely tired today. And I am supposed to go grocery shopping um, and also go get, we're, we're supposed to go hang out at the pool at my neighbors. They're not going to be there, meaning they're there, but they're not going to be outside, girl, social distancing. They have their pool up year round. It's really nice. And so they're like, you can come over anytime with, with the baby and we'll just look at you guys. <laughs> Since they're older, they really don't want to be, they don't need to be around us. She was like, we can just look at you guys from inside and wave at you guys. They're so sweet. My neighbors from East Texas, they're from Paris, Texas. So anyway, y'all, my sister, y'all see those videos of my sister? She is so crazy. She was singing. <laughs> she was having a bad day. I talk to my sister like every week. We FaceTime so the babies can talk too. Um, Cause we have children the same age. So she was having a bad day. One of those days that we were FaceTiming. So she was a little lit. She had two, two drinks. So she was finding her wigs, right? Finding her wigs, and she put on this one wig. And she said, girl, who do I look like? I said, shit, I don't know, you You look like a fluffy ass um, vanity. And so that's when she's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I should have never said that. She said, girl, you sure is right. I Child, she started singing Vanity. She, she sung at least two songs from her. Then she started singing Vesta Williams. Y'all heard the ending of that. Congratulations. I mean, she went in. Y'all, I just only caught, put up a few seconds because my sister is wild. Anyway. um, What am I talking about? God, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm a little bit tired. Still have a lot to do. Let me come on in, girl. Child, that little bit of three pounds I, I lost, I've gained back because that's just water weight, honestly. So I'm sitting at like 173. I was on a 171 when I was done with that detox. But honestly, that detox is something that I wouldn't mind doing every two weeks or so. Um, so I will probably do it again on Sunday. Yeah, I'll probably do it again on Sunday. Do a light, light, light because we're we going in eating again Friday and Saturday. I'm making some fried tilapia one day and then the next day we're having um chala chalaquilas i don't know the word for it it's a mexican dish it's basically fried corn tortillas with homemade salsa verde uh, uh crumbled up cheese sour cream it's so good so i can cook y'all i can burn so i can look at 
two or three people cook and I'm good. So my neighbor, she's from Mexico and so she had she had served it to me a couple of weeks ago and I was like, what is this? She told me about it. My other friend who's Mexican, she told me about it. And so yeah, girl, I cooked it up. I've been cooking it like every week. It's, you can make it to where it's not as fattening, honestly. You could bake the tortillas if you wanted to, but y'all, y'all, I think I may have some Latin blood. Girl, stop. Anyway, um, I'm not doing any work. Work is, is busy, which is good. I'm very grateful, I'm very blessed. I ordered, look, I ordered, let me show y'all this. This hoe was taking forever to order. I had originally, remember that, y'all have seen those detangling combs? I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Let me let it zoom in. Let me let me darken this up. So you see that detangling comb right there, right? And it has the it has the flexi like eight or nine flexi rolls that when you use it, it. So I had mentioned in a, on my community page a couple of months ago, a weeks ago, excuse me, that I'm gonna be reviewing that. Well, I did order it. It was taking forever to come in, like. It wasn't gonna come in until May 30th. So I canceled it and ordered a different one. So I am gonna review that one. Once I, it's by, it's by Vam Ope. And it looks like it has a sturdier hole. I'm gonna review this one because it has the same type of design, right? Then once that, I'm gonna add it back to my cart. And once I review it and it's okay, because if it's a crappy thing, I'm not gonna do a giveaway. You know what I mean? So that's why I canceled that other order. So this is a different one with the same type of design, but sturdier. Once I order that and I review it, if I like it, then I'll do a giveaway, okay? I'll do a giveaway for y'all in a couple more weeks, all right? So in addition to Amazon, I got some dresses coming in from ASOS. I have a little fluffy flat fashion show for y'all. I have some more face masks coming in. The face masks I show y'all was, was from Etsy. I have some more of those coming in. Because, y'all, the face mask I got from SoCal, I don't like those. Because they they sit right on your face. So you can't breathe. I can't breathe or talk in those damn masks. So I don't recommend those. I really don't. This is the link I've been sharing for you guys. I don't recommend those masks anymore. Um, instead, I purchased some masks from Etsy. When those come in, I'll wait. Let me wait till I get those and I'll let y'all know how I feel about those. But they do point out that way and I shared the image earlier. And I also ordered some N95s. You can get those now. I'm going to wait until I get those too. I mean, I'll let you know, guys know where I got them from. Hold on. Okay. The N95 mask I got from Canope. USA, that's C A N O P U S A group. Dot US. I'm gonna put the link below. If I forget, remind me, y'all remind me. Um, because this is the thing now, there are certain stores that you absolutely cannot go into now if you don't have a face mask. Um, what is it? Costco, even though I don't go to Costco, Costco has announced if your face isn't covered, you can't go in there as of May 4th. You can't go in. I have a good feeling that certain stores will follow suit to where you have to have a face mask to go in so we have mask here i don't think my husband ratchet ass is wearing his he he's gonna catch his hand um i think he has a face mask in his car that's why but he needs to wear something when he's out so. y'all real quick i wanted to show you some of these look i told y'all this is so much fun for me creating this type of stuff in my opinion is fun so what i've done is created these cute little images for <clears throat> any type of documents I'm going to be creating for the homeschooling stuff. So we have this typewriter that says that says Brown Boy Excellence. We wanted to name our school. It's Brown Boy Excellence. The typewriter will go on the more informal, excuse me, formal stuff. This Game Boy logo will go on the, I don't even want to call it a logo. It will go on the more informal stuff. This is one that looks a little bit different. And so one of the things I've already done or started on is to also create a academic calendar. So we have Brown Boy Excellence Academic Calendar. Um, I couldn't find one on Microsoft already for the 2020-2021 school year. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to move these dates around manually. Um, <clears throat> that's a little bit, you know... A little bit cumbersome but it's doable you know you can just click on these things and so one of the things i also want to ensure is that we're capturing any school 
breaks and observe holidays. I've already spoke to this um, with, about this with my husband. And so school for us will start August 17th and it will end um, June 30th. And I get things may change. Things will change. That's just how it is. Um, we will have the traditional Thanksgiving week off, Christmas week, spring break, but we will also include our birthday weeks, meaning his birthday week off, my husband and I birthday week off. Additional days will include, because again, this is our schedule. Um, days such as, of course, Martin Luther King's birthday, but we will also be including Malcolm X's birthday and Maya Angelou's birthday. Um, I will probably do one half day a month. So our schedule will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And for me to have a break so that I can have um, parent workshops, basically get my everything together for the next month or the next quarter, I'm gonna take half a day uh, for a Friday every month. Yeah, so I'm super excited. This is something I can continue. What else have I been creating? Um, I do wanna show you guys, I went through a site called Teachers for Teachers and you're able to download tons of resources. So one of the things I purchased, let me get the camera off so you guys don't see this, um, were second grade goals for, um, where can I find it? So yeah, sorry. These are the second grade common standard goals that just to make sure that we're on track, we have one for math and one for English language arts. And so this is stuff I already printed out. This is my, me and my swimsuit girl, me and my fanny pack. It is what it is. Waist goes in a little bit over there. What is that? I don't know why there's some type of mark. So yes, girl, I'm not gonna turn around. We ain't gonna be showing my bum to everyone. This child, look at, look at him. What the Sam? Turn around yeah. so they can see you. Turn around so they can see you. Look, look at this. Miss Chuck, he is ready. All right, let me put my cover all on. <laughs>